This is an archive of correspondence between Agatha Christie and her producer and director, Hubert Gregg. I'm Ben Houston from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. Agatha Christie and Hubert Gregg had a working relationship that covered five plays and uh, 20 odd years. And this archive is a correspondence running from 1953 to 1972. And you can see all of the letters from Christie back and forth, and also these three directors working typescripts, which is quite a wonderful thing. We have the unexpected guest here, and this is Greg's own copy with his notations on the staging here, the cast and characters, and plenty of uh, amendments to the text, and notes on how it was to be staged and blocked. Really fantastic. And this is just for this. We also have the same here, and also for the hollow. So this, the rule of three, with all of its uh, amendments throughout, um, both the hollow and the unexpected, unexpected guest signed by Christie as well. Now, Greg was also the director of The Mousetrap, the longest running of Christie's plays, and uh, he did that for seven years. And this is his first edition of The Mousetrap, which is lovingly inscribed inside for Hubert with affection and gratitude on our 60th birthday, uh, on our sixth birthday, apologies, uh, from Agatha, which is rather wonderful. In all of this correspondence, you have a lot of really interesting and insightful things about their relationship, including there's a great letter here from Peter Saunders, the producer, where he talks about Donald Walker, who is feeling that the present ending to the play, The Patient, was too wordy and too long, it needs to be broken up. And he writes here, I also send for your own amusement his own suggestions of how he thinks the play ought to finish. Can you imagine Agatha's face? Well, what's fun in this correspondent is we have this phenomenal thing, Agatha Christie's own ending here in her hand of how she thought the patient ought to end. There's three pages there on the Victoria Hotel stationery. So really, that is just a small insight into what we have here, a correspondence covering 20 odd years. Uh, if you'd like to find more details about this or any of our other books in stock, please do check our website.